Canada is pleased to support the development of SMEs in the ASEAN region, working with both ASEAN and the OECD. Our progressive trade agenda and feminist international assistance policy, together with ASEAN's inclusive business models, are bringing sustainable livelihoods to the people of ASEAN. Southeast Asia is a booming economy. Businesses are growing and our markets are largely expanding into one of the strongest emerging markets in the world. However, roughly two-thirds of Southeast Asia's population live at the base of the pyramid. These people have to struggle for around 3,000 USD per year just to put food on the table for their families. Companies can most notably include them into the value chain and developing sustainable business solutions that expand access to goods, services, and livelihood opportunities for low-income communities. This new business model is called inclusive business. A new business model that improves lives in commercially viable ways, spurring entrepreneurship and encouraging economic growth. What is inclusive business? It is a commercially viable business that helps to address the societal challenges facing the poor and low-income communities at the base of the pyramid. Inclusive business rethinks and innovates established business models with the goal of creating new forms of employment, new markets, and affordable products and services. Most importantly, inclusive businesses have had enormous positive impacts to low-income communities while still turning over a profit while integrating them into the company's value chain as suppliers, distributors, retailers, and consumers. In fact, when we started doing the advocacy for inclusive business, many impact investors started, started to line up in my office because they are really looking for projects that they can invest on. Inclusive business has become a vision in motion. Canamer in the Philippines takes a different approach by supporting farmers from the very first stage. Indofood in Indonesia practices inclusive business on both an upstream model and also the downstream model. SNV Vietnam is an organization that manages the Vietnam Business Challenge Fund. Camworks is a leading solar energy company in Cambodia. Joma Bakery Cafe is a really classy quaint cafe with franchises in Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam. Right now, um, the idea is that uh, inclusive business will be the anchor of growth of countries. For years, the government has worked together with private companies to support inclusive businesses from all industries. Alongside the Philippines government, Azac Fay and the BOI have set up a separate department tasked specifically at matching low-income suppliers and big businesses aimed at bridging the long-standing gap. We are actually helping them so that they are able to come up with models or in their desired uh, their desire to help the community becomes sustainable because it becomes sustainable only if it makes money if it doesn't make money then it's not IB it's philanthropy we can see that by engaging the base of the pyramid in a global value chain companies can increase profits from the lower costs the fact that multilateral development banks all over the world have pumped in more than 15 billion USD and private investors earmarking 6 billion USD for the development of inclusive business tells us that we have a huge support framework in place. That means that if you decide to adopt an inclusive business model tomorrow, you will have banks and investors looking for you. Inclusive business for me are those organizations that take a holistic view at the way they run their business. With this, I mean that they take note of every stakeholder. Paolo is from LGT Impact Ventures, one of the many private investment companies that continuously look for inclusive businesses to invest in. Some of the companies within their portfolios include Kanema Foods and Sugruvi in Philippines, My Dentist in India, and Hill Tribe Organics in Thailand. Kanema Foods is one of our portfolio organizations here in the Philippines. So for Kanema, we provide them with different levels of support. Since our investment in 2014, Kanemura has grown significantly and we are very happy with their progress. They are working with more smallholder cacao farmers. They have a more inclusive value chain, which includes a new financing company. And they are looking to expand in more regions in the Philippines. 
For many impact investors, inclusive businesses have come a long way since its inception in 2005, and the future of impact investment is bright. I think inclusive business is, is the future, and we should become more responsible. Enterprises should also take responsibility, and not only for ourselves at this moment now, but also for our grandchildren and the children of our grandchildren. I would certainly recommend it to all companies and organizations. Uh, for them to be able to both help the economy, help the people. Think sustainability, sustainability, sustainability. That is your future. It has given companies a new life on their value chain, increasing their workforce, suppliers, retailers, and consumers. When all put together, it creates a sustainable business model that has a supportive and vibrant ecosystem around it. Built to not only help underprivileged communities and improve lives, but also generate revenue, growth, and profits for companies. Inclusive business isn't just an idea, it is a business model that works.